I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters. I am Pastor David Vandy of the Vandy Christian Network. And today my word for you comes from the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 to 13, which is the Lord's Prayer. You know, you, you all know that, um, or you are aware that I did not send out the prayers last night. I was so tired and I decided to take a rest and say when I wake up, I will do the prayers. But I fell into deep sleep and in my subconscious, I had a dream. And in this dream, I was praying. <clears throat> and then I actually sent out the prayers. And what I was praying about was the Lord's Prayer in the dream. And so when I woke up this morning, I see that I did not send the prayers, but in the dream I did. And so I know it was a message, and that is why I'm going to bring it to you today. So let us go ahead. We'll do a part of it, and then we'll finish it tomorrow. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. My brothers and sisters, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. When you open the Lord's Prayer, it is everything in regards to our true identity in Christ. Because Jesus tells us that to begin our prayers by addressing God as our Father. Because that is a constant reminder of our true identity as God's children. And when you come to Christ, you are a born again and you are a new creation in Christ. The same way a newborn baby is a new person. So when you are reborn spiritually, my brothers and sisters, you are reborn into the family of God. And in this spiritual family, we are sons and daughters of God, God's very own children. Jesus' desire for us is to have an intimate and loving relationship with the Father. And the Bible says, hallowed be your name. When we say hallowed be your name, hallowed is an old way or an archaic way of saying that something should be made holy. So by praying hallowed be your name, you are saying that God's name is holy. It is a holy name that should be revered. It is a holy name that should be honored and respected. So by beginning your prayer with hallowed be your name, you are beginning your prayer by praising his name, which is an alignment with Psalm 100 verse 4, which tells us to enter into his presence with thanksgiving and praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise and give thanks to him and bless his name. Hallelujah. So my brothers and sisters, this is a reminder that our God is a perfect God. Our God is good and just and holy. A God who deserves to be praised, not for what he has done, but simply because of who he is. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Gracious and everlasting Father, I thank you, O oh God, for this moment. As you taught us to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, thy power, and thy glory forever. Amen. God bless you.